welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Jeanette Fryer. I am the owner and maker of Jabelle Sheep. So for today's video, I thought it would be fun to bring in a beach tumbler. I am so ready for summer to start and I think doing a beach tumbler would just kick off my anticipation of summer coming. So be forewarned, I am going to use be using a lot of glitters, layering a lot of glitters, but I think that is what brings the tumbler to life and just allow me to get creative by layering glitters and getting that blend that I want to accomplish in this tumbler. So it is going to be fun. So I'm hoping it's gonna turn out like a kind of beach, kind of sunset thing going on and you know, all the tropical vibes and summer vibes coming your way as well. So makers, if you have not subscribed to my channel, please consider subscribing. I would love to have you on board. So without further hesitation, let's get into the video. All right, you guys, let's get into this video. So first of all, like I, let me, let me first do a disclosure. This is, like I said in my intro, it is going to be a beach sunset themed tumbler. And I cannot for the life of me decide on the glitter colors that I wanted to use. So. Y'all, I have chosen an array of colors, but I think that is exactly what makes it fun because I love layering glitter colors when I'm doing an ombre and it just, I don't know, I just i just love it. It just seems to get the tumbler more depth and I don't know, it just, it just makes me happy. So um, off camera, I have went ahead and spray painted the, this is a 30 ounce Modern Curve by Craft Haven. And off camera, I have went ahead and painted it um, orange, purple, blue, and metallic gold. These are the main colors of the the Sunset Beach um, tumbler that we're going to be doing today. So I thought it would just, you know, just work out better if I just went ahead and just base painted these colors in. So first of all, let's start off with the colors. Um, I'm going to be using Capella by PDB. I think I, I actually got two Capellas out. Um, I must really love that color. Glitter Designs, uh, Orange Crush, but Glitter Designs by two. My other two oranges is going to be Callisto and Sunburst. My purples are going to be Magenta Magic. Um, and I do not know. Oh, this is a Lavender Opal by Gora Balls Glitters. And this company is no longer operating. And a electrified by assassin crafts i'm going to add a little pink in there and this is love Go love good by peachy all glitters my white that i'm going to be using is called satin by peachy all glitters my teal for the beach effect is going to be glitter glams it's called enchanted by glitter glams and another teal that I'm gonna layer it with is Feather by Bling Boy. And to create my sand, we I'm going to use Sands of Time by Southern Girl, Girl Southern Glitz Glitter. I think that's what it's called. But of course, these many of glitters, I will try to link the names of the companies as to where I got them be, um, before um, in the description box below. So since I am layering a lot of colors, I have mixed about 15 ml of epoxy because we are going to be layering a lot of colors and I definitely need all of this. So I am not going to apply this because I, I won't be able to talk. So I'm going to do this off camera so I can um, put my PPE on and then we'll be back, then we'll be back on camera for the glittering process. All right, you guys. So off camera, I went ahead and applied my epoxy um, because I did have a respirator on. So right now I'm just going to Kind of make sure uh, when you're doing epoxy as i said before you want to make sure you're in a well ventilated room um but for the purpose of, the, of this video i am going to just have my light mask on so if you guys hear a little muffling um that is what it is so it is going to get messy layering all of these colors so first we are going to start with our sunburst by yaya's glitter and this is kind of like a kind of so i am definitely going for that sunset kind of beachy kind of feel here 
So we're gonna apply that here. All of that in this orange section. And it's kinda gonna look a little crazy at first, but I'm hoping it turns out well in the end. All right, next we're going to go in with Electrified by Assassin Crafts. And I'm just getting my glitter colors down and then we would go back and start blending everything. And I, like I said in the beginning, I probably won't use all of these colors. I just could not decide on what to use. All right, next we're gonna go in with Boy by Feather Bear Bling. And we're gonna apply that right here in the middle. Oh, almost towards the bottom. <laughs> next we're gonna go in with Sands of Time and this is a pretty metallic kind of gold. Um, uh, I just think it just really looks like sand. So I'm gonna apply that right here. All right, next we're gonna go in with Love God by Peachy Olive Glitters. And this is where I am going to start the blending process. And like y'all have saw me do many times before, in order to get a blend, I am just going to spray my tumbler down with my White Rain hairspray. And so we can get a blend of this pink kind of color going into the purple. So let me spray over here. And I just gave that a really good spray. So next I am just gonna take my sprinkler, my tea sprinkler. This is what I use when I do my ombres. And I'm just gonna take this, hold it right here where the, um, the orange is, almost kinda where these two colors meet and kinda blend down. I'm just trying to close up this line, that harsh line where the purple and that orange is meeting at. And I chose these colors because intentionally, I think they really will blend very well all together. I'm just trying to target where that line is. And as you can see, it's just, it's kind of closing it up. You guys can see that. So I'm just gonna flip my tumbler the other way and just concentrate where that line is at. to get a blend going on here so next we're going to go in with lavender opal and do a blend where the purple meets the teal at and of course I'm just gonna spray my tumbler in that area right along here just to get that blend going so I'm just targeting the color with a purple meets the teal lap. So you wanna tilt your cup like at an angle. So I'm just trying to stay in frame for you guys. Just tilt your cup at an angle so that glitter falls down. Guys, so next we're gonna go in with Satin um, by Peachy Olive Glitter. So this is gonna kinda emulate the waves. And you will see as we progress in this tumbler as to how that is going to come into play. So I'm just gonna target my spray here in this section here. So this is just um, where the teal meets the 
gold at. I'm just targeting the color there. So I'm just kind of hold it at an angle so I can just get a blend going on. I'm sorry y'all if I got out of frame. When I'm doing an ombre I get I'd be concentrating so hard just to make sure I get everything just right. So just essentially just targeting that color where those two colors kind of meet together. Once I get a good blend that I'm happy with, I will stop there. All right, y'all see what's going on? So we sort of got our blend going on. Of course, we're gonna continue building these colors. All right, so we are continuing to build. So next, I am going to go in with Callisto, and that is by PDB, and I am just gonna layer some more color along this area with the oranges okay so i'm just taking my cup over to the side and just spray and i'm just gonna tilt my tumbler and just continue laying some more color down glitter tumblers where I have it I have my vision as to what I want to create in my head I just have to make it come true true on the tumbler so exactly what I'm trying to do here all right more I don't have any harsh lines where the glitter colors meet if you get what I'm saying so um, along this area, I kind of want to add more pink here. So I went and grabbed Valley Yard by PDB uh, because the Love God was just not giving me the pink shift that I needed with these two colors to blend. So I'm going to try Valley Girl out and that's by PDB. So I'm going to spray my section again. So we're just gonna add some to the tumbler and I'm just gonna tilt it and see if that is giving me what I need. Yeah, and I think it, I think Valley Girl is just the right fit. Right amount of pink shift that I want to happen with the orange and the pink blending into the purple okay yeah that definitely gave me what I needed of course I have been extra here y'all see what's going on here starting to look like a sunset kind of beach thing going on so next I am going to go in with more of the Electrified by Sassin Crafts and just get more of a blend going on right here. Just gonna hold my cup at an angle. at the beach as to how the waves get dark kind of moody and then go into the beach part and then the sand so that's exactly what I'm trying to create here
All right, so next, you guys, I am going to go back in with Bowie by Feather Bear Bling and put some more of the of that here in this area. So not a lot, just to just to kind of accent what we already have down. So it's not going to be a whole lot. Alright you guys, alright you guys, so next I'm going to go back in with Satin by Peachy Olive Glitters and just target a little bit more in this area. So like I said, this is going to simulate the waves and, and you will see as we progress in this, in this um, tutorial as to how that all comes to play. All right, next I'm gonna go back in with Sands of Time by Southern Girls Glitter and just add it along with this area, the very bottom. Well, where, where I have my tape at because when I remove it, I want to see some of this gold but I gotta take into account some of that's actually taped off with the tape, so that's why I'm bringing it up a little bit higher. Oh my God, I'm in love with it. You guys, um, you cannot have a beach without sun, right? So next we are going to go in with Capella by PDB. And we're just going to target just a little of that along the top edge. Um, just fading into that orange. So let me see where you guys can see what I'm doing. So it's just really just accenting this entire orange. And I'm going to put, I'm going to put this effect all the way around the tumbler y'all and I don't know if you can see this on camera but it is just beautiful and that's one of the things like I said that is why I love layering colors because you can get the exact depth and dimension that you're looking for you just have to be willing to just be patient and just play around with you know colors different types of cuts of glitters and everything will work out y'all look at that so we have the yellow going on the sun the um all the sunset kind of features the dark blue um the purple the pink the sand the waves the water and of course you know this sand down here i think i mentioned that but just look at all of those colors going on it's just stunning stunning absolutely stunning um of course i can continue to mess with this all day long but i am going to leave it i am going to leave it i am happy with the tones that i have going on so far and like i said it's giving me all the sunset beach vibes at this point so like all my tumblers i am going to since i did use a lot of glitter um i'm going to just take a damp baby wipe and pat everything down So I'm just going around the edges and making sure everything is good. All right, you guys, I am just going to um, continue patting everything down and then I'm going to remove the tape. I am going to seal this with two times matte clear. And also I have found that when I add a coat of glitter glue by Crystal Like, it makes the epoxy process so much easier. So I will be back before I actually add my two 10 coats of epoxy and let you guys see that process. So as promised, I did want to show you um, what I am now using to seal my glitter, just a second coat of sealer, before I apply my two thin coats of epoxy. So after um, we apply all of, all of the glitter, 
I actually went in and sealed this with two times matte clear by Rust-Oleum. Just a really just light spray seal, just one spray over. Um, so my glitter is nice and flat. I cleaned the edges and I cleaned the um, the bottom edges and the top edges. So right now, before what I have started using is glitter glue. I sometimes use this to apply my epoxy, to apply my glitter, but but. I saw another YouTuber, another tumbler maker actually use glitter glue to seal their glitter uh, prior to putting on their first coats of epoxy. So I gave it a try and y'all, it is like so incredible because I have noticed that when I apply my first coat of epoxy, it normally, you know, it's kind of still sort of bumpy and I'm still having to apply another coat and things like that. I did a tumbler and um, of course the glitter was very flat to begin with, but I noticed that I was able to go right into my decal process just applying one good coat of epoxy. So, but however, you know, neither here nor there, um, applying this glitter glue, it actually makes the epoxy process, the epoxy going on much easier. And it just goes on much smoother in my opinion. So. We are going to just take a little of this glitter glue and this is just a makeup brush that you guys have saw me use many times before and it's becoming my favorite makeup brush. It's like a foundation brush. brush. So I just actually just apply it just to get it started and just use this brush. And what I have noticed is that it is just actually kind of filling in some of those divots in the glitter and just giving you a nice surface to work with when you apply your first coats of epoxy. And For this glitter glue adhesive, it is by Crystal Lock. You do want to make sure you allow this to dry at least two hours before moving on to your epoxy process. So I'm going to allow this to dry at least two hours and then I'm going to apply two thin coats of epoxy. All right, you guys, so here we are on to our next step. So, like I said before, when I applied the glitter glue to seal this, I only needed to apply one coat of epoxy before I go into my decal process. And y'all, I am, I am sold that glitter glue, it sealed it very smooth. And when I applied the epoxy, it was just such an easy process to get that on. So, um, we still have a couple more steps to complete this tumbler. So, um, I wanted this time to be a beach tumbler. So the decal that I have chosen is called beach please. And I am going to attach this before we go into our wave process. So this is a decal that I got from Etsy. Um, I will link the name of the shop in the description box below. So let's go ahead and get ready to apply it. I went ahead and cut it off camera. So it was, it is about, 3.5 by 3.5 and I, since this cup, cup is kind of carved, I am going to split these sides just at all angles just to kind of make it go on easier and hopefully that works for me. Alright, so I do want it to look sort of playful so I am going to just leave it at a slant and we are just going to attach this. Decal looks so pretty on here. Can y'all see that? All right, so I am going to seal this with two times matte clear by Rust Oleum, and also I'm going to go in with a coat of CC DIY Quick Coat um, just to make sure 
I don't have any problems with this decal. Um, I am unsure if I want to do the waves in this process, which I think I will because that will keep me from doing another step and I can kind of seal everything in at once. So I'm going to seal this uh, with a coat of CCDIY and then we're going to go in into applying the waves down here at the bottom with some epoxy dye because when I go ahead and um, do one coat of epoxy that the waves are already, already here and I can just already start uh, going into sealing the decals and everything in at once. So if it works out the way I want it to work out, I think it will be just fine. All right, you guys, so here we are on to our next step. So what I have done here, uh, as you saw before, I did apply the decal and I, I did go ahead and seal it with CCDIY Quick Coat so it is nice and sealed and ready to go. So we're going to start our epoxy process um, slowly uh, but I did want to try to cut out a step you know then sealing everything because I still have to add the waves here so I thought since the decal was up here I can go ahead and do the waves down here and just get it all done in one step so let's see how that works out so I am trying to be as least messy as possible because I am epoxying at an angle so you guys can see process for adding our waves so what I have done here I have mixed about just about a couple just put a little epoxy in here and I did apply some aluminite white opaque dye here so what I'm going to do here is just try and simulate some waves here we're just going to add that along the blue part in the sand. All right. You don't need much because I only want it in this area. All right. All right, you guys, so um, I did um, go ahead and try to create some waves off camera, but I did want to tell you all what I, what I was using. This is a heat gun that has a little nozzle on it. So it's just allowing me to just create those waves that I'm looking for. So I'm just using this just to kind of move the paint, the epoxy dye, just try to get it moving. Alright, so you see we have like some kind of beach wave action going on here. Um, so I think I like it because if I keep messing with it, it's just going to start looking all weird and move up into here and that is not what I want to happen. So I am just going to let this continue to turn and cure for at least overnight. All right, you guys, so here it is what it is looking like so far. I did go back back in and remove some of the um, the white paint, acrylic paint here, um, just, just to show more of the sand. And I did go back in and just kind of work with the waves a little bit more. And I think I like that effect. So I did not want any, any of the waves to go up into this part and the orange and the, um, the purple and the pink. So I kind of wanted to keep that section kind of clear and just show off these nice waves with the sand showing at the bottom. So I think it is looking amazing so far. So I am going to let this spin for a couple hours overnight and then we'll be back to seal it with two more thin coats of epoxy and then we'll be on to the completed tumbler. Here she is all completed. Oh my 
got y'all look at that blend look at that blend going on look at those waves that we created look at that sand down to the bottom and look at that beautiful beautiful sunset with that decal y'all um when i was creating this tumbler as you can see we did layer a lot of glitter on here and as you can see I, there was a lot going on with all of these glitters like I said in my intro, I think using a lot of glitters is just what makes the tumbler come to life and add depth. And of course, it allows me to be creative. So I just wanted to have fun with this tumbler. Um, of course, when you started anything, you don't know exactly where it's gonna turn out, how it's gonna turn out or anything like that. But I have faith in myself. So this is what I ended up with and I am very happy with it. Y'all, I almost don't, do not want to post this on my site, but a lot of people have been asking me if I'm going to create some beach tumblers and y'all, I think I delivered. What do you guys think? I really think I delivered. So you guys, I urge you all to try and recreate something like this for yourselves and for your business as well. And just give it a go. Just have fun with those glitters. Just grab all the glitters. And like I said, you're not, I mean, don't plan on it. If you just plan on it and you know, like I said, sometimes I do plan. But with this tumbler, I just wanted to get all of these glitters. Of course, you saw I had like 15 and just layer. And I had a blast. I really had a blast. And I'm just happy how this sunset turned out with the orange blended into the pink. And of course, my beautiful waves that we created with the dot as well. And I am so happy with it. So I'm curious, you guys create something like this and tag me in your creations. Please, please, please tag me. So without further ado, I know you guys are waiting for my for my motivational quote. I know you guys are waiting for that. So the quote for today's video is, it's okay to not have it all figure out, figured out. Y'all, I think that speaks volumes to anything that you do in live and you know, of course, running a small business, things like that. I started my business in 2019, right, right before I retired from the army. And of course, I didn't know where I was going. I didn't know what the future held for me. I just know that I really just wanted to give myself a break from all the stresses of the army and just be creative. And like I said, going into this, I did not have it all figured out. I just had faith in God and faith in myself. And here I am today. So I am loving what I'm doing. So you guys, I have, I urge you guys to just give whatever you want to accomplish. Give it a try. You don't have to have everything figured out. You don't have to have a plan from A to Z. Just give it a try and jump right into it and you will be amazed at what you can accomplish. So you guys, I have, like I said before, we have reached over 1K subscribers and I am totally, totally, totally thankful for all the support you guys have been giving me and y'all, it means the world to me. I really appreciate your support. I really appreciate all the comments that you've been giving me and it would not go unnoticed. So I know I said I would announce the give you a giveaway in this video this week however I am still planning the giveaway I want to do an exclusive video YouTube video just for that giveaway as well I think it will, it will direct more attention to that video and allow you guys to have more, more fun with that giveaway as well so be looking forward to that I expect to get that video up and running no later than next weekend so do not miss it do not miss it so I'm just giving you a little warning do not miss that giveaway so makers once again if you have not subscribed to my channel please consider subscribing I would love to have you on board and like I said if you enjoy this video please give it a thumbs up and do not forget to click that notification bell so you won't miss out on any of my future content coming your way so you guys until the next video you guys stay blessed and continue creating Once again, makers, if you have not subscribed to my channel, please consider subscribing. I would love to have you on board. Also, I have created a new Facebook group in which we all get inspiration from others. It is a safe space to create and share. The link to the group is listed below. Until next time, stay blessed and continue creating.